Hi traders, um, welcome to this demonstration of how to set up the version 2.5R statistical arbitrage trading system. I'm getting quite a lot of inquiries from people asking about um, equity curves and previous performance, can you back test, forward test, etc. Uh, it's really important to emphasize that this system is not some kind of, kind of um, black box, fire and forget. Uh, expert advisor or, or robot. It, it's a, a set of trading tools uh, or, or an arbitrage tool set which allows traders to implement their own ARB trading strategy. So uh, just wanted to clarify that just in case anybody was uh, unsure because uh, it, it's kind of, I, I personally don't think um, black box EAs uh, which are marketed over the web work whatsoever. Um, so unless you've got people who can constantly tune these systems and um, adapt them to make them market to make them fit the current market dynamics uh, it's all a bit of a waste of time so um, if you are searching the web for um, such things you're probably wasting your time to be absolutely honest but there we go um, that's just my experience um, take it or leave it anyway we have here a euro dollar h1 chart and what I'm going to do first of all is show the navigator and first of all we load the STD indicator version 2.5R just drag it onto the chart very important to enter your unique reference number absolutely critical if you don't do that you will have problems and the system will remove itself from your computer so it's got inbuilt copy protection software which validates the account number and also the unique reference number which every trader is provided when they purchase the system. So let's um, look at a couple of different things. We'll look at gold and we'll look at silver. So we enter the instrument names as they are quoted on your platform. If you've got prefixes or suffixes uh, most likely you'll have a suffix if you're running a, a micro account make sure you enter the, the suffix uh, as the broker quotes it so if it's euro dollar lx or something like that enter euro dollar lx uh, okay so we okay though the uh, changes we've just made system then queries the data on the web server and we've got an indicator which is displayed there let's now go up to our expert advisors and we're going to load genstar version 2.5 r same thing drag it onto the chart enter your unique, unique reference number ok that get rid of the navigator ok this is quite normal you get a lot of bells saying missing data please load and configure blah 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 it means that the the data on your chart is not there okay so what you do to solve this problem is scroll through your chart time frames which will pull the data off the broker's server as you see here we can now see the spread trace for XAU USD and XAG USD displayed clearly down here with a data check saying the spread is okay so first of all we need to tidy this up because it's a mess so we go to line graph right click on the chart, go to the properties, go to the common tab, sorry, go to the colors tab, go to line graph and click none. That gets rid of our line graph. Now the STD indicator is a mess down here. We can see that the data label is all over the place. So we click chart scroll or chart shift at the top of the chart. Click on this little chart shift arrow here and we can move this over to the left hand side and we still haven't got quite enough space so what we're going to do is right click on the STD indicator scroll down to label X position and then we're going to give that 1250 and that will move this data label over to 1250 on the chart which means we can now readjust our chart shift to, so it's nice and tidy so that's how you get the chart, the charts up, get the system um, loaded, and say for example we wanted to trade this gold-silver arbitrage, 
um, we can see here that just from eyeballing this spread that it's rising which means that gold is appreciating in value compared to silver so if we wanted to try and take sh trade off time frame parameters are disabled on this chart okay that noise um, is a is basically uh, a synthesized audio alert which tells you that the system is not enabled to trade on the M15 chart which we've just clicked on and the reason that H1 is in red is, is because H1 is the only time frame which is configured it will drive me mad during this presentation so I'm going to turn off the audio alerts um, because she will just keep saying that and it's it will just get on our nerves so I'm going to go to audio alert equals false uh, but, I am, but I am going to configure trading off the M15 chart so I go down to trade off M15 in the EA click true and I'm also going to turn trading off the hourly chart off because I don't want any false trades to trigger if I scroll around the, the, um, the different chart time frames um, because that will obviously load different STD parameters so I'm going to try and trade off M15 I know that the spread is rising so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my system to the trend. I'm going to filter on trends as well. So I'm trading off M15. So I want to only trade if I know the daily filter or daily trend is rising, and also the four hourly trend as well. I don't care about the other trends. So I'm going to turn those to false on all the other time frames. So what we're doing is we're using a it's basically a stacked exponential moving average to track trend of the spread on these time frames so now we can see here that trend H4 and D1 are, are high lit in the trend locking and filters I'm also going to tell the system I only want to trade long so in the direction of that trend so I'm going to be very specific here so lock long that's what I've told the system to do, and I don't want to trade stationary spreads. So, I'm just saying, I don't want to trade stationary spreads. Stationary spread is where the system considers the spread to be stationary. And what I'm going to do, as I'm locking long, I just need to change my reversion target down here to the upper trigger, which is already set. So basically, the system is going to try and buy dips when the spread comes down and test this lower trigger down here and it will try and exit when the spread touches the upper trigger but it will only do that when both the H4 and the D1 trend are rising it's up to you how you configure it basically it's, 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 as I said at the beginning this is a tool set so you can configure it how you wish so if you're a long term trader or a short term trader you can play around and tweak the system as you see fit so hopefully anyway that will give you that just gives you a rough uh, simplistic overview of how to certainly how to load the system on a chart how to get it stable once you're happy with all your settings then you can enable the expert advisor to trade live and that in, a, in order to do that you just go to the common tab and then click on allow live trading and when you do so the smiley face in the top right hand corner of the system will be smiley so quick overview i will do some much more comprehensive videos shortly